Well, hello my friends and happy Sunday to you. All right, so today is a super simple project um, and so I want to, um, let's take a look at the project and then we'll go over the supplies. So here's our cutie. Look at how sweet, sweet, sweet this is. Oh, soft and sweet, which is perfect for right now. Um, and so uh, let's talk about the supplies that I use. So there are three different collage packs in here. This floral, these are the florals new and the vintage wallpapers are new. This is a vintage wallpaper. It's got, it's got some really, really pretty ones in it. Um, and then this floral pack is new too. And then this, uh, this is one of my favorites, my absolute favorite, um, and I forgot the collage pack for that, but all three collage packs will be listed for you, and then um, um, they'll also be on sale this week, and th even the the new ones. And so the, all, all the supplies will be listed on the blog, and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. Um, so those are the papers, and it really there were some other papers in the background, just j regular papers that I have. Um, that I used. Um, this was actually even part of the new collage pack. Um, so lots of papers, very paper involved. Um, so that makes it super easy. And yet there were still some things that I had to kind of, you know, some color and some some contrast that need to ha to happen as I did that. And so um, I used um, my uh, pattern. Uh, let's see, Modern Pattern Mini 1 stencil for my pattern here. I used a Super Heavy Gesso to stencil through it. Um, I used my, ma no, I used my Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium to put my papers down, including my tissue paper. Um, I stamped with um, some small letter stamps. I have a lot of them, but just small letter stamps. Um, and I used my hope stencil or no, let's see script fave words and it's got hope in it and I stenc I just stenciled on regular tissue paper with my makeup brush and my archival ink for my words um, I put my papers down I used some gesso uh, for my white um, I uh, put a tiny bit of color but I did a little color mixing with the three magenta um, this is um, cadmium orange I think bright orange this is the pe pebio uh, or pebio and then um, this is Indian yellow and you can see on my palette um, those three colors and how I mix them in different different lightnesses and darkness with those three colors to kind of match the color that's in my flowers um, so magenta, Quinn magenta, Indian yellow, and then either a cad orange or bright orange, um, and then, you know, gesso to kind of do some additional splatters. And that's really it. It's super, super simple, super easy to do. I did a lot of, I did my, I printed my flower on tissue paper and, um, stamped and stenciled on tissue paper for my words. And then my charcoal pencil, my trusty friend. Uh, charcoal pencil for my shading just my quick shading I didn't do a ton and then I just did a few scratchy marks around the edges um, shaded around the edge with my black soft pastel like I typically do and that is it all right my friends um, those are the supplies for our project today um, I also want to let you know that the doors to the membership close today um, so and it won't reopen again until May so keep that in mind. Um, all right, my friends, gather your supplies and let's get creating.
time, my loves. That was easy peasy. Um, this just took me back to years and years ago. I mean, most of what I did was just collage. And it just, it's a, a quick and easy way to create and get something going without having to think too hard. And that's what I needed today. This could be done in a journal. Um, so uh, let's just take a look real quick. So um, our project today, I, I just love it. And the reason I love it is because it's got this softness to it. Um, it's, it's gentle. And that's kind of leading me into my word for the year. I've really kind of absorbed where what I want for that and what I want for the year and, and all that kind of stuff. And that's we'll do that next week in a new journal page. Um, this week I needed to just um, rest. And um, so uh, I, just, I just love all of the parts. And so this down here says <clears throat> in this page, that, which is why it's one of my favorites, Victories Every Day. And it, it's from like a calendar. Victories every day. There are great victories and struggles and noble acts of devotion done every day in nooks and corners and in little households and in men's and women's hearts. Any one of which might um, be touched by the sternest man in such a way and to fill him with belief, <clears throat> with hope, and wait, belief and hope in it. That's by Charles Dickens. And so um, I always, I, that quote is always one of my favorites and incredibly meaningful to me. Um, so uh, that, that hope, and I had written down signs of hope in my journal um, this week. Uh, this week, we had tragedy happen in our family again and um, just unbelie unthinkable um, and so we didn't know what was happening with this person and I'm not going to go into great detail we didn't know if they were going to live or not and um, he he's alive and there are signs of hope and there <clears throat> have been signs of hope every single day since we got the news. And um, we have been with family. And um, anyway, I'm, I can't go into a whole lot of detail just because it's still so new. So that's why I needed this softness today, this easiness, this gentleness. And um, I, w I thought about not doing a Sunday just because I feel void of, <laughs> of things right now. But um, creating always helps me. And vulnerability is so um, needed sometimes um, in our journeys when we're struggling. And it la allows other people to be vulnerable too. And so, um, Anyway, that that was the inspiration for this piece. The, that little chicken scratch of notes as I was taking notes about what was happening and what was going on. Um, I just wrote signs of hope. There are signs of hope. And the great thing is, is there are signs of hope always. We just have to look for them. And um, sometimes it can feel, all the things can be filled, or even just a specific incident. It's like right now can feel overwhelming and like too much but somewhere in there there's a sign of hope usually and um, we just need to be gentle and be patient and slow and look for those signs of hope and um, they're there so um, that's your Sunday inspiration today and I wish I I was so excited to move on to my um, word for the year um, but this is this is where we are this is life so we are moving forward right now um, in the situation that we're in and um, not sure what all of the next steps will be um, so I will um, be gentle with myself this week and um, I think we all <laughs> All need to be gentle with ourselves right now um, 
and um, I am I am praying for myself for some rest and some peace this Sunday and I will pray that for you as well all right my loves have a wonderful Sunday um, and always always know that you are loved